welcome back to this tutorial in this tutorial we are going to learn about views and section so let's start with the section but before we move on to that section i need to teach you about views adjustment in sketchup so if i right click on this toolbar you have seen that there is an option called views i already enabled it when i disabled the my view section tool set will be gone so i'll enable the views now these are the five types of views that are available in sketchup or as you can say six now if i'm draw in this plane and i need to view this from the exactly the front view with regards to all this x and y and z axis i can click on this front view and this will take me there now you might be noticing that it is not currently accurate so what we can do this as we studied previously about the projection and parallel projection and different type of perspective views so if i enable the parallel projection this will show me that from the exactly to or you can say top view of the front with regards to this x and y axis means there will be no 3d axis existing in this this will show me as it is printed on a single front paper now if i move to side view this will show me the side view of this house if i go to the back or left view this is going to show me the left view this is going to show me the back view so when i click on this back this will show me the back view of this drawing now going to the top view this is going to show me how does it look from the top and because this all is visible uh, where this looks very good because it is currently in a parallel projection when looking from the 2d option but when i go to the isometric view you can see that if i turn off the parallel projection i have shortcut key for that that is d so when i press d this will activate the perspective and disable the parallel and if i press d again this will disable the perspective and enable the parallel so if i go to the perspective view this is how we use sketchup during the editing mode or creation mode if i press d again this will be enabled in the parallel projection view so this is how it is looking as a parallel projection in our model so i'll go to the front view again and this is should how it is looking right now so i'll put it back over here this is the most important thing that will be helpful to you while you are using the rendering or vref further now let's enable the section tool set so when i right click on this again i will have some option here called sections so when i click on this section and check, check it this will provide me four tools that are available for creating a section in sketchup i will drag it over here or let's say i will just put it over here now while creating section you have to make sure that either you align it to your blue axis means the top view that you want to cut or the side view of red or green axis that you require now moving on to that I will, to create a section plan you have to click on this option that is says the section plan that is the first one with the white circle and the arrows i will click on this now after clicking on this you will be able to see that there is a square surrounding my cursor so if i put it over here it says the unlock plan means this is blue axis the color of this square is blue now if i want to create a elevation section what i can do is i will put it to any wall so when i click on it uh, sorry when i put it ar around any wall like hover around my mouse with a wall it will show me that it is in red axis if i put it on this side it will show me this is green axis so this will be parallel to green axis either blue axis either or the red axis now what if we want to do it in a uneven surface now you can see that i have created some uneven surface on the top of this room uh, and i also created some uneven surfaces over here so if i activate the section plane and put it on the top of here you can see that except of showing any red blue or green it is showing me the pink means that it is currently aligned to the slope of that section so this is the slope and this is currently aligned to that slope means this would be creating a sloppy section so we do not need that but in case if you require you can always do that by creating slopes and aligning it to that supposedly same similarly you can see that when i keep it over here this is aligned to that slope as well now let's create a section firstly i will create a section on the from this for the top surface so i will click on this once you do that it will ask you the name of the section and symbol if you wish to align to it so i will name name it as say top view of first floor and i will give the symbol as zero and click ok now our section is created but this does not look like a section at all so firstly after creating this section you need to adjust it into exact space or height you require once you click on the section you can see that this is highlighted now the another thing about section is when i double click in bit uh, another thing 
when I double click in any part of this section this will turn it off and means that it will toggle off the section cut if I double click again this will toggle on the section cut and the house that is above the section will be invisible similarly I can turn it off and turn it on as much as time I desire so I'll double click on it now as soon as I select this and I will activate the move tool I can move it above or below or change the height of the section and you can see that the action is also visible directly on our model so firstly I will select this and let it be over here I will exit the move command and we shall see how does this look now another thing about section is that I can turn it the section display on and off with this tool either so when I click on this again this will uh, make this section plan invisible now I will double click on this okay, if I turn it off the section plan cut will be invisible since it currently is existing but it is not visible now when I click on it again this will be visible even if it is activated and the section cut is active I can make it visible or invisible by this option that is over here now next thing about this is if I go to the top view as we learned previously I will go to the top view and this is not currently in a parallel projection this is in 3d axis you can see that totally all here what I will do is I will press D that is my shortcut key for parallel projection now this looks perfect now as you notice I will turn off uh, the option first as you notice there are few lines available or there are few lines that denotes the wall now this doesn't look more pleasant because it is all in white color and while the color of the walls is set to gray you can see that they are all in a different color compared to the floors I'll go to the top view pay attention to this walls there is an option called section field when I click on the section field this will fill up all the walls with some material or the material that is regards to its exterior color so this looks better than compared to what the previously white boxes look so any client can easily understand from the top view that this is denoting a wall rather than just lines that denotes the wall this is how you can use the section fill there is another option called section cut so when I click on section cut this will turn off the as we do regularly with double clicking this will turn off and turn on the section view now this was about sections let's learn another thing about section when I double click on it I can also move it with regards to second floor as well I do not have to do it again and again for a different floors you can see that I can keep it on the third floor or sorry the second floor and I can also keep it on the first floor as well like this with regards to top view I go top view and click turn on the parallel projection this is how it looks and you can see that it is also creating a section of the steps as well means it's very easy and convenient to create a sections very rapidly with the sketchup now let's learn another thing about that I will turn it off as we know that we can create elevation sections as well so if I go here and try to create an elevation section that will be in red axis from this side let's create a section I will give it a name elevation section press enter so I gave it elevation section now currently we have two sections that are currently active in our drawing suppose if I turn on this section this section will cut will be disabled means that currently or while working on a model you can only keep in one section display active if I wish to turn this on the another section display will turn off means you can only keep one section display active at a time so let's move it to other side to get another section cut like this now let's move on to the side and see the section view I'll go to the right view so this is what we created and I will turn on the parallel projections to get a better view of this field when I click on this this will show me this as it is required seen from a 2d perspective so this is how our section cut works in SketchUp Similarly, I can again turn off the settings for this display section, display cards, and this all works simultaneously except that only one display point can be active at a point time. So this was all about sections in SketchUp and views in SketchUp. Thank you for watching.